today's video is gonna be amazing because I'm gonna show y'all how to make money using a web scraper. Let's get into this. And first of all, I wanna thank Bright Data for sponsoring this video. We are living in a world where literally tens upon tens upon tens of thousands of engineers and just people that work in tech in general are losing their jobs right now. People who are making six figures are losing their jobs in tech. And I think now more than ever, it is really important to be able to build a side hustle that you can build upon whether you have a job now, whether or not, whether you can work in tech, whether you're still learning code, to be able to build that side income to help you last and survive this recession that we could potentially be in for the next couple of years. Who knows when it will end? Which is kind of scary. And that is actually why I was excited to team up with Bright Data because when we spoke about constant ideas, the one thing that we will talk about was how you can actually use a web scraper to make money now. And by the way, if you book a demo, you can get $25 of credit to test out their platform and even build your own web scraper. Check it out in the link in the description below. And how can you do that? I'm gonna show you at this very moment. Let's get into it. So I wanna show you my website. So my website that I built is just some vanilla JavaScript, HTML, CSS. All right, let's refresh this. Okay, and so this is my website. I just title it Amazon De Dealer. You can name it whatever you want. So what does this do? What this does, whatever you type item you search in here, if you, let's say you type in keyboards, you type in chairs, you name it, you want to find the best items on chairs and keyboards on Amazon. As, as soon as you type that in, let's say we type in keyboard and we hit search, what this will do, is this will send a request to the web scraper or bright data, and it would scrape all of the data and search for all the keywords on Amazon. And based on the way you configure your requests, your web scraping, etc., you have the ability to choose whether you want the best, highest rated items while also looking for good price range, right? Um, at the same time, you don't want to receive a hundred different list items from Amazon. You can do a little pagination where you can only look at the top 10 items. So if I was to type keyboard on here, they would show me a lot of items. I don't want to see all that right now. In particular, the example I want to show you because I want to show you a blog post later. And, and, and again, this is going to show you how you can make money using a web scraper. Let's say I want to look for HHKB keyboard, right? We hit search. So I didn't do any hover function or hover CSS on here. I didn't think about that. Now, please note, this is sending request and this is now scraping data on amazon.com. This could take time. So I'm gonna let this load and I'll get back to y'all in just a second. All right, there you go. Perfect. All right, so we are here and now please note that if you were to go to amazon.com and type in HHKB keyboard, it will bring you a ton of different items. You don't want to see all those items, right? You just want to see a list of items and do a little pagination where you can scroll the next page over and over again. So it doesn't take such a long time to load. And now how is this working? How's this working? Let me show you before I continue. So let's go to bright data and I'm gonna log in right now. All right. So this is one of the amazing things about bright data is that you have the ability to send a web hook to yourself, right? So I have a URL using ngrok. To, to, that, that's just waiting to receive data, right? And this is how we receive that data and then load it onto the front end. But check this out. So you send this request, send a webhook, webhook to my URL, an ngrok, and boom, and that's how I receive the data. And then that loads up here on Amazon Dealer. And that's what makes it so amazing. And that's how I'm able to see this data now, right? So that's how it works. And that's why I'm able to actually list these items for you. So how does this make you money? First of all, let's make sure this works, all right? Perfect. Okay, brought me to Amazon.com, and now oh, I don't want to hover over that. It's showing me this item that we saw, right? We go back, it's showing that item for 330 bucks, and then showing this for 330 bucks. Um, let's go to a different item. I don't want to buy a $330 keyboard. It's kind of expensive, right? Even though this freaking MacBook keyboard costs 200 bucks, I probably should have bought this instead, to be honest, now that I think about it. Okay, here we go. HHKB keyboard, 266 bucks and 64 cents. Make sure that's accurate. Let's load this. Boom, 266 bucks and 64 cents here on Amazon.com. Now, why is this a way to make money? I want to show you that it's something that you can do. So I wrote some code, and what that code does is it actually adds my affiliate URL, my link, to the end of every button, right? So I'm gonna hover on here, right? And it's hovering and it's loading right now. Now you probably can't see here, I'm gonna zoom in when I edit this video, but if you just zoom in, at the bottom part of the page, you'll see the URL, and at the end of the URL, it shows my affiliate tag, which says the bottles at 20, the bottle section, my last name, and that is my affiliate link. So if someone was to click on this link through this web scraper that I just created, and someone bought that item, I make commission. Now, Chris, I don't have 100,000 followers like you. Why would people click on my website and buy, buy things using my links? I understand. 
but you need to think outside the box. You don't need to have 100,000 subscribers or you name it or a larger following to make money and make commission off what people buy. How can you do this? I want to show you a mistake that I just found that someone's making in their blog post. All right, let's take a look at this right now. So I found this article. Okay. I found this article that was written in July, 2022. Okay. And now check this out. This person has an article that talks about how happy they were buying happy hacking keyboard. Okay. So look at this link and this link takes them to HHKB, but they don't have an affiliate link with HHKB. Let me hover over this URL. And that's it. Now, if you go look at the bottom of the page, it just show it literally just brings you the link. So even though this person wrote this article, they're not making they're not making any money off of this right now. That is a mistake. Now let's say you have a fun hobby, you want to buy things, or you just want to write blog posts about items that people want to buy. You can do the exact same thing. Take pictures, grab the pictures using the web scraper as well, right? We have a ton of different pictures right here. You can use all those pictures too, which is pretty cool, and it's transparent. I just realized that's pretty amazing. All right, let's go back. And this person has no links, any affiliate links. They wrote a blog post. And when I typed in HHKB blog post review, this was number one on the search, on, on, on the search menu on, on Google, right? Imagine how many clicks this person gets, but no links to Amazon. How much money could they be losing out on? Right? So how can you do differently with this? If this is you do the exact same thing course don't copy that's plagiarism don't copy their word their blog post word for word but write your own blog post maybe you can use jasper ai to help you write a blog post and but don't make the mistake this person's doing what they did is they have links directly to the to the actual product but they're not making any commission off that what you can do easily using the web scraper is you can do the exact same thing not just that but you can have for example at both the top of the page right under this hero image and at the bottom you see how he has this um, carousel here of comments and all the different blogs, I guess, that's on here. You can have the exact same thing. You can have this load as, as long as soon as someone entered your website, right? Load the exact same items with the exact same images, titles, and prices to help people find the cheapest HHKB keyboards that they can buy on Amazon.com. You can have the automatically load on your website. Let's go back there. And people will see that automatically and click on maybe all four links or five links you have in your carousel in the bottom. Make money like that. Now, let's say, you know what, Chris, let's not do keyboard. Let's look for something else. Let's go back to my website and let's look for a different item. Let's look for, um, what do we want to look for? Let's look for uh, Herman. I've been looking at this for a while. Miller chairs. Herman Miller chair. Now let's hit search. It's going to take a second to load. Boom. All right. So it finally loaded. What do we have here? We have Herman Miller chairs. You could do the exact same thing with Herman on chairs and with everyone working from home. Now, these chairs are popping off exact same thing. Amazon affiliate links. If I'm going to hover over the buy now button, is it going to show my link again? Yes. It has my affiliate link it's at the end of that URL. Exact same thing. You could write a blog post about chairs. You can type in anything on here from keyboards, mouse pads, you name it, the best ones that you can use easily. Make sure you have good SEO, write a ton of different blog posts. And why is this so important? This is something that you can easily do on your own, build a web scraper, build a blog post, a, a blog website, right? Have your own blog. We talk about items that people want to buy, have them click in that URL, make money off commission. That's not, is it going to be easy? No. But again, we, in, in this time that we live in, we all need some sort of additional income to help us get on and survive to the next day in case you lose your job. Because a lot of people will lose their job in this recession and that is guaranteed going to happen, right? That is one of the easiest ways you can make money today using a web scraper. Anyway, I don't wanna make this video too long. If you have any other ideas on how to use a web scraper to generate even more money, let us know in the comment section below, but yeah. That is the way that I would do it if I was to start over trying to make a side hustle. But if you want to figure out how to make a side hustle, do it now. Do it with Web Scraper. And I want to thank Bright Data for sponsoring this video. I'll see y'all later. Peace out.